I mean, what was it like just running like you did in the first half, especially with four touchdowns? And how are you feeling? And was everything clicking for you? Yeah, um, it felt great. Um, anytime the O line can get pushed like that and open up holes, um, not only does it open up the run game, but I feel like it also opened up the pass game. And um, we clicking like that. I feel like the defense plays better also because you don't have to be on the field so long. So um, yeah, just when everything clicking, it, it feels amazing. A lot of us did, haven't played football. What's it like to just freaking truck somebody at the goal line to score? The dude bounces off into like a different <laughs> galaxy. Nah, I don't know. Like, I don't be feeling it. Like, I don't be feeling it. When they when they try to tackle it, it just seems like they slip off. I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, thanks, man. Yeah. All right, let's uh, go back over to Mike Toper. Hey, Javante, congrats on the win. I, I believe every one of your drives resulted in a touchdown in the first half, except for the halftime whistle. What was going so right for you guys, and, and what's it like going into halftime, having being in that groove? Um, I feel like it was just uh, the balance. Um, like, we wasn't running the ball every time. We wasn't throwing the ball every time. Like, I, I don't think Duke knew what was coming, like what we were going to do every play. So, um, just keeping them off balance and um, just executing every play, I feel like that's really what uh, kept us going. Okay, let's uh, jump over to Gregory Hall. Javante, do you think you should be a Heisman Trophy candidate? Uh, nah, I just, I'm just glad we win. I don't try to get caught up in all that stuff. And then when you guys are routing your rival like that, and I saw one time when you ended up in their bench, they started jawing at you, and all you did was point up to the scoreboard. How, how does that feel that you can, you're able to do that? Um, it felt great. I was running the ball. Um, the dude had pushed me out of bounds, and one of their players like tried to put his shoulder into me, and I kind of uh, bounced back, and he started talking. And I just told him to look at the scoreboard. Um, I feel like the scoreboard doesn't know talking for me. All right, uh, let's go over to Deanna King. Go to Deanna King, go ahead. Hey, Javante, you're known to break tackles. What was your thoughts when you saw Michael uh, run over the other Michael Carter in the end zone? Yeah, that was crazy. It, uh, just the fact that uh, the dude name was Michael Carter too. And um, I don't know, Mike, Mike got it in him. He really, he shifty, he really a complete back. He can juke, he can choke, he can do anything you want him to. <laughs> All right, uh, last one for uh, Javante comes from Brian Keys. Hey, Javante. Mac talked a little bit about how the start of the game was kind of reversed. Usually you guys start with a lot of run plays and then start throwing it a little later, and that was kind of swapped. So I was just wondering, what was that like for you to see uh, Sam, you know, air it out at the beginning and then kind of work the run game later on? Yeah, um, Sam started quite about for a reason. We all trust him. Uh, just to make the right reads. And, um, when he does that, if it's a run or a pass, we just go with it and we live with the results. And usually it's good. And then coming into this game, do you guys feel like you were more prepared than against Virginia? Um, you know, you came out really strong, especially on offense. Yeah, um, I think I think we was more prepared. Um, it seemed like we was we was more into it, uh, more focused going into the game, and um, the result we uh, we showed that today. <laughs> 